It's been a couple of days now since the game against Crystal Palace. Still pretty pissed off about it, if I'm honest. Uh, pissed off about the situation at United. And so is Patrice Evra. I think one thing we all want to see from our ex-players that we all still respect as fans is hearing them put pressure on the club. But we rarely see them do it. That's a bit different with this video that Evra has released on his Instagram and Facebook page. If you haven't seen it, there's a link in the description. What I'm going to do in this video is react to a few things, a few points that Evra has had to say about United, about Woodward, about Judge, about the Glazers, about everything to do with the problems at United. And I'd love to actually get the chance to speak to Evra. So if you could do me a favour, head over to Twitter, tag Evra, tag United People's TV, at United People's TV in it. I want Evra to see United People's TV and hopefully give me some time to chat with him in a bit more detail about a lot of the points in this video. But I'm going to run through, as I said, a few of the points that Ever has made. Starting with this. Me, I mention them. I don't care. I sacrifice my life to succeed for this club. And that's why I want people to do the players, the staff and the people from the board. Ever might do some mad things like chewing a raw chicken, but you can't question how much this guy genuinely loves United. And those sorts of players and, and that sort of staff and that sort of board is what a football club needs to really take it forward. And that's not what we've got at the moment. I don't think it's ever going to come, but I wish it did. And when it comes to hearing ex-players speaking the truth, you don't really see it. And a lot of us think this. And I will be loyal to the fan to the people who love Manchester United until I die. I will never put my thumb down. <laughs> I give too much to the club because I know so many people, they don't talk because they're scared. I say, oh no, because if I say that, I may get a job, I may not get my job. I don't care. I don't need Manchester United. I love this club. You do get the feeling with a lot of people that they don't really want to say what the truth is about United because they want to keep things sweet with United. I'm like Evra. I really don't care. I say things how I see them rather than maybe what United would want me to hear because Christ, they could see a lot of videos on this channel that really would not put me in good stead. But it's the truth about what's going on. And Evra goes into it in a... He, he goes in. He really does. I give so much to this club. Maybe one day I will walk for this club again. But I will walk with my loyalty and I will never lie to any person who love this club because I think some people work for this club and they are damaging this club. That's why we have to tell the truth to the fan. Absolutely 100% spot on there from Evra. There are people at United who are damaging United. Ed Woodward is a man who has absolute and total power in a role he is completely incompetent to be successful at. He is an accountant that helped United get sold to the Glazers on a leveraged buyout. That's why he's the Glazers' puppy dog. But he is not a man who can run a football club. We have seen that so much. And clearly Matt Judge is a man who is not competent at doing his job properly either because look at us in the transfer market. Woodward is the man that comes in and, and he's the chief negotiator in the... He decides what the prices are, but Matt Judge is the man who actually physically leads the negotiations. And neither of them are doing their job properly. Neither of them are capable of doing their job properly. And Everett continues in talking about Woodward and points out what he sees as a key problem with Woodward. And you know, we, we're blaming him a lot. Uh, the only problem I would say to Ed is trusting people and he shouldn't, he should never trust them. He even trusts some people from outside the club. And that's, that's the things I can say about that, you know. So what Ever is saying there basically is Ed Woodward is naive, that he trusts people even outside the club to do business for United and the business doesn't get done. That is a man who is not capable of doing his job. And Matt Judge, as as Evra goes on to explain here, he hasn't been doing it properly either. 
And, you know, some people, they, they thank you, they are here. And that's why we got money. People like Wisha Arnold. These guys can make some, <laughs> some sponsor deal like you can't even imagine. So we got the money. But we don't have any player. Because we send the wrong people to speak with them. And Ole changed that. Ole now try to approach the player, try to speak with them like Ferguson used to do. And plenty of journalists have said this as well about United's style of negotiations. It's, it's not as crisp and clean as it needs to be. And maybe that's the reason why we're so crap at doing it. Because other clubs don't respect how we act. And clearly, Evra doesn't feel that we act in the right way. And I don't think we do either. Now, for me, Woodward shouldn't be at the club. You know that by now. Matt Judge, I don't think he should be at the club either. And I don't think the Glazers should be anywhere near United in a dream situation. But Evra, surprisingly, uh, very, very surprisingly, says something I didn't expect him to say about the Glazers. And you know, I will, I will say a sensitive name, Avram Glazer. Joe Glazer. I meet Avram many times and I know a lot of United fans, they hate the Glazer, but trust me, Avram loves Manchester United and he cares about the club. Sorry Patrice, but what the fuck are you talking about here? Avram Glazer does not love Manchester United. No Glazer family member has any love for Manchester United or they would never have bought the club on a leverage deal in the first place. They wouldn't have burdened United with over a billion pounds worth of debt and interest repayments that are being serviced. They wouldn't take annual dividends away from the club when we need the funds for new signings. There's no love there. And if we can call Ed Woodward in being naive, I think we can call Evra naive there for thinking, even thinking that the Glazers love Manchester United in any way, shape or form. But there's a very interesting point here that he raises in terms of maybe what the Glazers don't know. Because when I had a, a meeting with him, I remember it was the game against PSG, and I gave him some feedback. He, he, he wasn't aware because maybe the people he trusts and the people in charge, they don't give him the right information, you know. So before we say Gla Glazer, our oh, guys, calm down. Because the Glazers' source of information of what's going on at United, who's that going to be? It's going to be Ed Woodward. It's going to be Matt Judge. And I guarantee you that Woodward and Judge do not tell the Glazers what the truth is. They tell the Glazers what they want the Glazers to know. And that's not going to be 100% of the truth. In no way. If they're failing, at the, Woodward is failing at his job, and he has been for years. But because of the share prices at United... It, and because of the fact that he helped the Glazers buy United, the Glazers will never sack him. So it's, he's just in an, an, a position of total power and he has nobody to answer to. Nobody can point the finger at Woodward and tell him that he's doing his job wrong. And that's just an abuse of power in a position that should not be held by Woodward, that should not be held by Judge. And yes, we've improved in the transfer market, but have we? We've improved in some ways, and in other ways, we just haven't at all. And it's a couple of weeks left in the transfer window now. And yeah, look, we may still go on to sign Jane and Sancho. We may still go on to maybe sign a centre-back, maybe a left-back in Alex Tellez. But the fact of the matter is that damage has already been done. After one week now, instead of the new season bringing new hope and building on a third-place finish last year with key signings that are done early so Solskjaer can prepare, Solskjaer has gone into this season massively underprepared massively under, I don't know, under-invested in? I don't know what the best way to describe it is, but with the rivals around him strengthening, Solskjaer is just having to deal with what he's got. And it's because United are incompetent. Woodward is incompetent. Judge is incompetent. And to see Evra speaking out about the problems, that he may not have said all those things, that's my opinion there, that all three are incompetent. But ever there saying that there are people at United that are damaging United. I think that's Woodward and Judge. And that's my own personal opinion. But I think Ever I think Ever knows exactly what he's doing here. And I want to see more players do it. 
and it's great to see videos like this because hopefully, look, if, if, if Ed Woodward is allowed to hire Neil Ashton as his PR man to push a narrative out there that everything is positive, then I'm allowed to speak about the truth like this, like Everett is allowed to speak about the truth of what really is going on at United because it seems finally that there is a real... People in the media now and journalists are speaking about it. It's not getting ignored. And the more we can talk about it, the more... I don't really think we can ever force change, but you can't just sit back and ignore it. And it's great to see Evra doing that video. Good man for doing that. Hopefully more people can do that. More ex-United players can do that to exert some sort of pressure. And hopefully Evra will want to speak to me and speak on United People's TV. Maybe we can take this conversation further. But I want to know what you think about the Evra video in the comments below. I want to see more of it from different players and for more pressure to keep getting put on United's board so that change maybe in some way, shape or form can happen at United because change really, really is needed. So please, leave Ole alone. Let him walk with what he has. But let's talk about other people. They maybe shouldn't be on this club.